Friends, I have made loads of awesome Tinkercad jet tutorials. Of course, there's the standard jet, the Epic F-22, and the tiny jet that is made out of cardboard and you can actually launch. Today, though, friends, we're going to make an awesome experimental aircraft. So let's get cracking. Of course, if you're interested in any of the projects I highlighted, you'll be able to find them in the cards and the description of this video. Friends, today we have a super fun collab between myself and Cobb Viscount, Mauve Mello. He has created this awesome tutorial. I'm gonna take that Google Doc and turn it into a video. Of course, you can click the link and follow along or just use my video no matter what though. Make sure you give him a reaction. Of course, friends, step one is create new 3D design. Let's start by naming it. I'm gonna call this Jet and I'm gonna put KVM because we're following the Mauve Mellow tutorial. Friends, the first shape we're gonna use is a cube. We're gonna use it as a place to put our next part. When you click search, I need you to type OGI for OGIV. When you bring the OGIV out, we wanna set it on that face of the cube. I want to make it more smooth by bumping up the circle segments and the OGIV segments. And then I'm going to click on the normal work plane, move that cube away, stretch this to some distance that I think is fun, do control D, switch to the mirror tool and flip it, press W for work plane, put it on the end, click on that other piece. So make sure I've got that and hit D to drop. Put the work plane back on the ground, and then I'm going to customize this and make it a little bit longer as we start to create our fuselage. Now, if we select those two parts and do Control G, this could be our fuselage, but we're going to make it a little bit more fancy by changing these measurements. We're going to do that by clicking on the cube, doing Control D, and making that second one a hole. If we check this measurement, it's 20. We're going to cut this exactly in half by making this 10. Then we can stretch it with the black handles. Notice if you use those, it only does one direction at a time. We can get that arranged so it cuts it exactly in half. Select the two and choose group, which is also Control G. All right, so let me show you why we did this. First, click on it and do Control D. Look underneath it and do W for work plane and put the work plane on that bottom spot. We're going to do D to drop it underneath. Once again, we're going to use that mirror tool and flip it. Put the work plane back down on the ground. And then when we click on this, we can shrink it. Notice I'm looking underneath so I can push it up. And we all of a sudden get a really cool custom shape for our fuselage. I'm going to take those two and do control G to group them. Notice it does take a moment to group and then I'm going to hit home so that way I've got the work plane so I can tell which end is the front. And we're going to use this same piece for the engines. Do control D, nudge it a little bit to the side. I'm going to shift squeeze it and then I'm just going to adjust it to get it to a shape that I think is pretty cool. And then I'm going to cut off the back end where it tapers. We're going to do that once again with a cube, control D, bring it across, set it as a whole, pick where you want your motor to end. I'm going to say mine end is right there where it starts to get thinner and do control G to group it. I'm going to take this engine and I'm going to do control D so there are two engines. I'm going to move it to the other side ish, getting them close to where I want. I think that is pretty close. And then I'm going to shift select those two and I'm going to group them. Once they group, I can select them all, choose a line, click on the fuselage and set them to the center. Then I'm going to take the engines and I'm going to use shift nudge to move them back a little bit behind the fuselage. Next up, friends, we are going to find another part. This one is called the swept NASA. When we bring it out, friends, we can use cruising and set it on the side of that cube. So it's aimed the way we want for our cool airplane. I'm going to take this and I'm going to stretch it just so it looks exactly the way I want. And then I'm going to flip it so it's got the opposite direction. I'm going to move it close to the ship where I'm going to put it. And then I want to rotate it a few degrees. Notice if you stay inside the shape, it'll go automatically to 22 and a half. If you come outside the shape, you can set it custom. 
Whatever you pick is fantastic. Just remember that if you want to stretch this again, you do need to hit W and put the work plane back on that shape to actually adjust it the way we were just a minute ago. I am happy with how that one is though. I'm going to hit W for work plane and put it back on the ground. I'm going to sink it in by doing control down. I'm going to nudge it to where I want on the engine. When I am happy, which I think that looks pretty cool, I'm going to do control D and I'm going to shift nudge it to the other side. Once again, I'm going to use that sweet mirror tool to flip it. And now I can nudge it right out so it connects where I want. Once I have got it semi close, I'm shift selecting those, doing control G to group. And then we can grab everything again, do L for a line and get them all centered, making sure it looks just like we want. I'm going to bring another one out and put it in the exact same spot. This one, I'm going to move over I'll use the handle. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground and I'm going to just pull this out so it's near the front, making sure that those connect. Once again, you can adjust it however you want to get the style that you think is going to be cool. When you are happy, do the control D, move to the other side. Once again, use that mirror tool. I'm going to nudge it back so it's touching. And then, of course, take the two of them, select them both with Shift Select, Control G to group. Once again, select them all, hit L for a line. If you hit home, it's easier to find that dot. Friends, let's do this step one more time, still setting it on the cube just like that. I am once again going to click mirror and flip that the other way. Now I'm going to use my shift nudge to move it over and get it somewhere on this back wing. I do want to make sure that these are aligned. So I'm going to shift select those chunks, choose a line, make the front one the boss and set them at the same up and down spot. Now I can nudge this in, change the slope, stretch it across. Once again, using those black handles to find the exact style I want getting it close to that middle and then finally doing control D nudge to the other side hit the mirror tool and flip it make sure it gets past shift select those two do control G to group and of course end by selecting it all hitting L for a line once again that home button is super cool to make you find that dot and now those are in place as well we're going to fill in this hole with a cylinder we can close this go back to our basic shapes set that cylinder right there just like we did a moment ago i'm going to put the work plane on the ground and nudge this out using the arrow keys or the shift arrow keys i want the sides to be smooth and then let's check the thickness of this shape see how it's four so I'm going to take this thickness and I'm going to make it four. Now if I shift select these, hitting that orange one in between, doing a line, making the red one the boss, and I want to bring it to that top area. I'm going to hit F to fit view so we can see this a little better. And I'm going to stretch it into the green on both sides. And then I can just nudge this back so it tapers just the way I want. I'm going to make that 3.8 instead. And friends, we have just made our awesome wings. Of course, I do want to select them all. Choose that L for a line. Click on the home button and once again, choose middle so that it is all aligned. Real quickly, let's go back to that Sweb NASA. And we're going to put it on that same side. And this is going to be used as our horizontal stabilizer. I'm going to shift select that piece right over there, choose my L for a line, and I want it to come all the way to this edge, and then I also want it all the way to the back. I can now use my arrow keys to get it closer. Once again, I can customize this. I'm going to do F for fit view. I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. Of course, if we do control down, that's probably a better place for it. And once you get it arranged the way you want, do control D move it to the other side once again bring out that flip tool and get it arranged take those two pieces and group them and then once again we can select it all choose l for a line and keep them in the middle 
Friends, we do also need vertical stabilizers. We're going to do that with the swept NASA as well. I'm going to set it on top of the cube, choose F for fit view, and then we're going to do shift rotate to rotate 90 degrees. This will line it up with our aircraft. We can drag it close. You'll notice it's floating way too high. I'm going to do control down to push it in. You can make this a custom nudge if you want. Of course, you can have fun with all those things. I'm going to hit F to fit view, take a look at it from the back. I can squeeze it down, make it a little thinner, anything that you want. Before we do control D, shift nudge to flip to the other side. Of course, use that wicked cool mirror tool, get them close to where we want. Shift select the two and do group so they are one part. So then finally, one last time, we can do L for a line and get them all organized the way we want. How cool is that? We do need a place for the pilot to sit. Check out this trick. Control D, shift nudge to move that away. We could make the entire ship one color, which is going to be my choice. I am going to choose an awesome blue. Instead of these blues, I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to get this to the exact blue that I think is awesome. Notice you can come out here, slide them around, adjust, and find the exact color you're looking for. Now that I've got that done, friends, it is time to add the place for the pilot to sit. I'm going to pick a cool gray, and then I'm going to shift squeeze this. I'm just making it a lot smaller, and then I can quickly select them, do L for a line, click on the center piece, hit that home so we can see better what we're talking about. I want the middle, I want the top, and then I'm going to just nudge it back with the arrow keys and do control up. As I zoom in, I can customize this length and height, adjust it down, maybe give it a tiny bit of rotation so that it looks exactly like I want. If you want it a little bit wider, adjust it, select it, L for a line, and bingo, you have just created a wicked cool fighter in the mauve mellow style friends before i wrap up i do want to show you this when you've completed your design you can pick your own awesome background color i'm going to choose a dark gray and then i also am going to shut off the grid and i'm going to hit close settings and finally delete that cube friends once you've got the design the way you want it don't forget you can click up here and of course your project is saved to the cloud and then you can also click in the properties. Friends, of course, make sure you add a title. Mine's got the tutorial. I'll be putting the link in here in a minute. These are other ways you can track me down. Add some tags. I'm going to put a mauve mellow tag in there. And then also, if you want me to see what you made, if you add the tag HLMT23, I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I'll give you a reaction. Finally, make sure you make the design public, and then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Finally, complete the I'm not a robot, and then hit save changes. Friends, as I wrap up, I just want to say thanks again to Cop Viscount Mauve Mellow. Your tutorial was absolutely awesome, and it was so cool you shared it with us. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I do have a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down below there, you will find my class, Tinkercad in 20 days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. This video explains everything, but I do want to highlight at the bottom is a coupon code 25HLTinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any class at cadclass.org. You can visit that site by simply clicking visit now. I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell. You're going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. 
have a great day.